Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to keep working on our base. So I spent another um, off-camera day gathering more resources. Uh, so we have a total of 38 planks, 36 twine, and 50 nails uh, gathered up for building purposes. Um, I managed to kill two level one wolves while I was out and about uh, because I had uh, some extra nine mil ammo. Um, so we, I ate one of the steaks and we, I have three more. So we're doing really good on that. Let's go ahead and eat one of those right now. And that should get us pretty close to topped off there. Um, and then uh, let's also eat. Oh, how about we split these in half twice? And maybe even again. And let's eat these two and see where that gets us. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to eat uh, these as well. And then we'll take a drink of water. And we're in pretty good shape on nutrition. Uh, so we are going to have to go back out and get some more of that too. But um, let's get to let's get to building on the base some more. So the plan now is that we want to... Um, let's first of all put our door in. So uh, right here. So let's build the door. And then we want just two... Yeah, we got the window there. So we just want two normal walls. That's a half wall. Okay, so let's craft two of those to f uh, block off this spot. Um, and then, depending upon how many resources we have after that, I want to, you know, put some more foundations in um, and just kind of keep building out the floor just enough so that we can start, you know, making more crafting stations, that kind of thing. So let's put this here. I'm debating about whether or not I should go ahead and put some um, stairs here. I probably should just because I don't think um, I don't think critters would go up the stairs. I don't know if the hunters will, but if I'm in panic mode and something's chasing me, I'm going to have a hard time getting in there. It's probably going to end up killing me. Um, so I think we're going to just go ahead and do that. Um, this jump here is not as easy to make as it seems unless I'm just yeah, see, it doesn't always, don't always get up there. If it's not something I can do 95% of the time, then it's not safe. Uh, that's what it boils down to, really. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and put some stairs there. All right, so, um, in fact, might as well just do that now. So, half stairs should be fine for this. Um, so, let's craft those. And that still leaves us a... A few more resources. We could probably do a couple more, get a couple more foundations in, I'm thinking. Um, so let's get back up here. Yeah, that is just not easy to do. Uh, okay, so we want to put this wall here. And um, put this wall here. Oh, I hope I can get it to snap in there. The snapping is really odd, I've noticed. With the building in the in this game what if we try it from out here oh there it goes except for it looks like I have that backwards so we want to flip it this way there we go nice okay let's put our stairs in here there we go and um, I mean if hunters try and come in here then they try and come in here and we blast them. Maybe they don't, I don't know. But the door will be closed anyway, so they would first have to break down the door. Um, so now we can, you know, we can see from all sides out this one single window, and it only gives them one place that they could throw, you know, grenades or molotovs into the base. And all of our stuff's going to be back further that way anyway, so, you know, it doesn't get destroyed. Okay, so now that that's done... I think what I want to do is, let's see, what does it cost to make more foundations? So we, it's nail, yeah, it's always na the nails, isn't it? It's always the nails. Okay, well, let's do this then. Let's go ahead and make uh, one more foundation, and we'll put it here. And then uh, we're going to have to go out and about and keep gathering nails, because they'll, you know, we get enough. What, what I think I'll do is I'll... I'll build the foundations all the way back to the to the wall here, and then um, we'll put 
then we'll put a wall up and we'll put the, the BCU on that back wall and then go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in place. So yeah, we'll put, I'm planning on putting one more foundation in here and we might use the curved ones, uh, you know, in this area that needs to be curved around a little bit. We'll see how that comes together, but we should be able to get at least two more in on the back wall and then depending upon how it clips into the ground here we might have to curve it so it could be it end up being more of a roundish base in the cave which is fine that could look kind of cool all right nifty so we got that done um this fire is about ready to uh, be destroyed you can tell because it's got the cracks on it um i didn't see any kind of way that i can um repair it I tried to do that with the hammer and it wasn't working. So uh, it is time for us once again to go out and about and do our thing. Now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and need another one of these. In fact, let's take them both with us. Uh, because I, I the thing that I wish we had in the game is some indication of when stuff's going to spoil. I have no idea how much longer this is going to keep. Um, so we're going to eat that now and that should max us out on protein and for here uh, let's just eat another kelp that gets us pretty doggone close okay uh, we are gonna have to go down to the pond and refill our canteens so we will do that let's just put all that stuff in there we don't need to take uh, any of those items with us we have six arrows so we're in pretty good shape there we have a full clip in our pistol uh, plus five additional nine mil bullets and like I said yep that just went out uh, we won't be using that fire again uh, so we'll be have to make a new one when we come back in fact you know what let's do that now just so it's done and I'm not struggling to do that it looks like I am gonna need some locks okay so let's get some locks real quick Okay, um, I guess we'll just put the next fire down here for now, um, since that one's going to be covered up. Can we destroy this? Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't prevent us from putting a foundation over it when the time comes. And I have two ignition sources. I got some matches here and some tinder here. Uh, so yeah, we'll just worry about that when we get back. Okay, let's head on out. I haven't rebuilt my fish traps. I do plan to do so, but I want to save all you know as many resources as possible for finishing our at least our initial building here first. I'm doing. Uh, fine. Oh, nice. Shotgun shells. Beautiful. Uh, I'm doing fine with, uh, you know, just hunting small game. And, you know, now we're starting to kill wolves, too. I don't know where that growl's coming from. Oh, up there. Uh, that's a level three wolf. Yeah, so let's not mess with him. Is that a case over there? I don't think so. We do have this here. So let's go fill up our canteens and do our usual dive for kelp. And then, yeah, we're just going to go out and about and continue looking for the usual stuff. There's a lot of, a lot of that in this game, man. This game is probably 75% just gathering. <laughs> <laughs> gathering resources <coughs> but you know that's okay because it's kind of what it's about right and living off the land doing what you need to do to survive it's definitely you know got a little little bit different vibe to it than most other survival games out there for that reason i mean all you do is survive you know and maybe maybe at some point get to where you're even thriving and you know towards the end game if you're really doing well and yeah i bet you probably can get to that point i'm sure you can 
Um, but man, it's a long, it's a long road to get there. And uh, like I've said before, it's very much what I call a joy in the journey type of game, uh, which is really cool. That's partly why I'm en enjoying it as much as I am. Okay, let's get that rabbit. Oh, a couple comments that I've been getting. Uh, first of all, I know this is going to be after the fact, but I just want everybody to understand that, you know, the first four episodes, maybe even five episodes that I put out were back to back. Um, so obviously I hadn't seen nobody's comments up to that point. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. I, I typically will pre-record episodes as much as possible just because that way I can get them out to you and I, and I never know for sure if something will come up in real life to where I can't record for a while. So yeah, I'm just, I'm going to always be pre-recording on this channel. It's just the way it works for me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, you know, if you guys have left me a comment and then you watch another video later on and it appears like I'm ignoring you, um, it's almost certainly because I, uh, you know, I, I just hadn't seen the comment yet. So I try and, uh, I try and respond to every, every comment that you guys leave. I appreciate the comments. And, um, so yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, also, um, I was told by one viewer never to pass up the fiber. Okay. So I guess what I'll say about that is if I don't see something, I can't harvest it. <laughs> Every single fiber plant that I do see, I will harvest unless, you know, I can't get to it because of a bear or something. So yeah, I mean, I, I know I need to harvest them. I know they're super precious for sure but if i can't see it i can't harvest it right so i look for them but i'm not always going to see them all the time so just kind of keep that in mind and let's see i guess that's all i want to respond to regarding comments just keep them coming i really appreciate that i am uh, you know still of course very new to the game i have been watching uh, some you other youtubers play it uh, just because i enjoy you know, consuming it as well as playing it. And, you know, other, other than learning better ways to do things, there's not really any spoiler stuff in this game because there's no storyline or anything that can be spoiled to speak of. And eventually, you know, I'll get to, to know the entire map. I'm already pretty familiar with the... Uh, if we look at the map here... Um, but definitely familiar with this more southeastern region and even up into here but i have been all the way as far up you know there and then i've been in the southwest quite a bit now too so eventually you know you'll you get, you'll get to know the entire map because it's the same map you know so all right we have a crate up here and a bear on the right so we want to be careful of him Just crouch down here and see if we can ninja this out from underneath him. I have come across, you know, a few of the lock chests now, and I know, I believe, it's my understanding anyways, that when I make the BCU, I'll get a lock pick as a part of that process. And then, of course, I'll be able to start making them too. From, you know, just watching other videos and from what I've oh nice I got another thing there uh, what I've seen you know in the multiplayer game that I've been playing we you know we have a we have two kind of arbitrary resources power and mass and those are required of course for us to make the you know the higher level stuff and so that's something we have to you know manage and can expand and that sort of thing it's a little I call it arbitrary because it, uh, the the power makes a little more sense but th than the mass. I mean, where is the mass coming from? What's caught creating the mass? You know what I mean? It's just kind of poof, magically appears out of the out of midair kind of thing. <laughs> so I think that's kind of funny, but uh, whatever, whatever. I'm I'm very much enjoying the game, so I'm not going to try and apply real life to it too much. You know, it's just just the way it works. Just the way it works. All right, let's go get this grub tree here. The 
other thing I've been kind of pondering, and you guys can, <coughs> you guys can um, <coughs> provide feedback if you want to in the comments, is just how to, you know, the best way to edit these videos. Because here again, I'm, you know, I'm just doing a lot of running around, and at some point, you know, some of you, maybe even all of you, it's going to get a little bit same old same old. So I don't know. Do you like to see? All the gathering, but then in like time lapse mode or in in cut mode. So you know, I cut to the next gather, cut to the next gather, that kind of thing. Um, at some point, you not want to see any of it anymore, and just you know, the, the parts of the the gameplay that's progressing in combat, that sort of thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, keeping in mind the nature of this game, though, too. You know, it's not. It, it's a different type of game, and it's very much about all of the gathering. <laughs> And scavenging and hunting and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm. I've just look kind of give me some feedback on that. And let me know how, how you guys feel about that. As far in terms of just editing the videos. Okay, there's a locked crate there, but we can't do anything with it. Did I already hit this tree? No, this is a new one. And there's always a a percentage of my viewers, anyways, that want to see everything. I mean, don't cut anything out. But that's you know that's just not practical for everybody and i'm i'm trying to you know reach as broad of an audience as possible with the channel of course so i guess people that like to see everything are going to be enjoy live streams more because you know obviously on a live stream you are going to see everything all right we got another grub tree down there there's a bear kind of nearby um i would like to to do a little more exploration, more of an exploration based episode and just kind of hit the parts of the map that we haven't been to yet. Uh, so that's essentially going to be up in the north, northwest. That's the part of the map I haven't really been to. Oh, one thing I was going to say too is that when I was out gathering off camera, I was kind of up more closer to the mountains. And yes, I know I need to be careful of mountain lines. Um, and a damn eagle stole my... I killed a rabbit and the damn eagle swooped down and took it. It's like, what the hell, man? Why would you do that? All right. If this is a level one wolf, we'll kill him. Nope, it's a level three. Let's not mess with him. Don't have enough ammo for that. Do you guys know if the um, higher level animals give you more stuff? I haven't, I haven't really noticed that. Of course, I haven't been killing a whole lot of high-level animals either, but just curious. They should, because, you know, for they're harder to kill, take more ammo, more resources to bring down, so you should get a better prize for them, I think, anyway. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our map. Yeah, we're way down in the south. Way down south. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I've already made this circle, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head directly north back home. I mean, I'm sure it's, do we have sun? Uh, that's west. Yeah, it's early afternoon, so we should be doing that anyway. And then, uh, like I said, maybe what we'll do is we'll do a kind of an exploration episode where we go up into the northwest and kind of uncover that part of the map. I don't know if there are other really cool, you know, distinct features. Uh, there's a level one wolf. All right. Let's take this guy out. I don't know how many shots it actually takes to bring them, bring a level one down. Um, should probably go a little slower on that and see if I can figure out what the shots are. Just to, you know, conserve ammo, of course. Let me get our hands washed since we're right by the water. In fact, we might as well take a quick dip in here and grab any kelp we can find. I've been grabbing the, the pearls now, too. That's not a pearl, though. Oh, I know what else. Um, some of you guys were talking about getting ore. But, and I, th I think I've already said this, but, 
you know, because inventory space is limited and because I don't have a pick, even though I know I can make one, I don't think they're that expensive. I've kind of decided not to harvest the ores until I can actually start doing something with them. Um, or at least until I get, you know, some more storage space so I can start stockpiling it at the base. Um, which is going to happen, you know, pretty soon. Not going to be too much longer before we'll be able to start doing that. Make sure there's no critters around. I don't usually do a lot of wood cutting when I'm far out away from the base because, you know, I can do, always do that near the base. I'd rather cover more ground and get more chests and, you know, all the other stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, no, good. Not good. Okay. This might... Mm, I might have to do some shotgun shells if I can't get over, away from this guy. I didn't see what level he is. Alright, well, that sucks that we had to waste two shotgun shells, but... That's what they're there for, right? That is what they're there for. He was a level two. Oops. Yeah, sometimes that happens, man. You just run right into him. You try and be situationally aware, but the ground is un is not 100% flat, so sometimes you just run up on him, you know? It is what it is. bunny Let's see if we uh, how far away he gets from us <laughs> oh while we're here there we go get our hands washed Alright, so that rabbit kind of went off over that direction. Oh, there he is. Did he just run off again? Nope, he's right there. This is a terrible place to hit him because if I miss, the arrow is going to go way down sailing off over the hill. So let's not miss. There we go. Okay, let's get the grub tree. Ah, shit. We're infected. Well, that sucks. Um, we need kelp and fish oil and some other stuff to make the antidote for that, so... We'll have to... Work on that. That's a level 2 wolf. Let's try and avoid him. There's a bar over there. We'll run up to this other grub tree. Oh, nice. This hasn't been a very good day for, for chess. <laughs> we haven't found very many chests today. Ah, oh, well, it's all right. How many nails do we have? 17? Okay, that's what we needed the most of. So... I guess the, I don't know how the infection thing works. Is it a random thing or is it a time thing? That chicken just ran straight up that cliffside. The climbing chicken. Huh. So yeah, if, I mean, if you get the blood on your hands is it do you have just like x amount of time to wash it off or is it just a pure but i heard a growl random chance thing because i didn't have that blood on my hands for very long until we washed it off in the stream 
Okay, let's head on into the base here. And what we need to do is we need to make this. So that requires three. We have the livers too, so we're good on that. And uh, we have the kelp. We need three medicinal tonics. And that requires fish oil and medicinal herbs. Um, okay, so I have some fish oil here. And I should have medicinal herbs here. Man, it requires three of these, huh? Son of a bitch. We're not going to be able to make it. Okay, well, then... Uh, I suppose what I'm going to have to do is build some fish traps. Um, to get those other two made. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll need a, a total of four more fish to finish making that. And in the meantime, I think our health very slowly starts to tick down, but hopefully we can stay ahead of that by staying um, nourished. Bummer. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and start the fire here and get some food cooking up. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. <clears throat> There's no way these two livers are going to last long enough for me um, to get the, the fish oil that I need. So we're just going to eat them. We're just going to eat them. All right, let's put some stuff away here. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. I was going, what in the hell just happened? Interesting. That would seem to suggest it's a time, a timer on this and not a usage that breaks it. Because, you know, obviously we weren't using it. Uh, okay, are these cooked? Not quite yet. I mean, as long as you have enough nine mils, level one wolves are actually not that hard to kill. All right, let's eat one liver now. And that gets us damn near all the way to the top. Okay, nice. So, so we'll hang on to this one and probably eat it in the morning. And uh, same same thing with the rabbit. We'll eat that in the morning too. Okay, let's put our water on the, on the fire there and get that cooking up. And then um, now I want to put another foundation in here. So let's get our stuff. Uh, we want nails, boards, and that stuff. And let's make another foundation. And then what we'll do is we'll build a wall and put the wall up and then we can put the BCU up. Uh, what does the BCU require? Oh yeah, we've got all that stuff. Um, can I make another wall? Nope, we're too nail shy. Can you believe that? Too freaking nail shy, man. All right. Yeah, you go there. So we'll put the wall here, plop the BCU down there, and I think we're going to have to use maybe the curved foundations to go around this way. Um, like I said, we should be able to get another full foundation through here. This bush is going to stick through, but I can't do anything about that. There's no way to remove that as far as I can tell. And then probably, again, we'll have to do another curved wall around that way. All right, you guys. Well, um, we are out of nails, so I can't do any more building. Um, so I'm going to just... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get some fish traps going so we can get those out in the morning. Um, yeah, fish traps. So, yeah, we should have plenty of this. I'm, I'm going to actually make four of them so we can get four fish to make that oil. Um, so, oh wait, what does that need again? Sticks. Right, okay. 
So it looks like I'm going to have to go get some more wood to make that happen. So, yeah, I'll get those four fish traps made. We'll get those set down in the morning, and then, you know, we'll go out and about and keep looking for more nails so we can just keep working on this. But if all goes well in the next episode, hopefully we can get the BCU up. Um, and then, you know, that's going to open up new uh, new stuff for us, but it's also going to start the timer on the hunters, which should be exciting. But I think I'm pretty well fortified here. Um, you know, we'll move this chest back once we have a place to put it. And I eventually would like to double wall this. So this whole front area will just be like a combat zone. And then it, we'll put another wall in and then everything back here will just be nice and tucked in the cave and safe and sound. That's the plan anyway. But of course, you know, it's going to take a little while to get that done because of all the resources that we're going to need to make that happen. Uh, in the meantime, hopefully this infection doesn't uh, take our health down too rapidly, and we'll just have to deal with it as best as we can. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.